We all hoped someday science would create a better shoe. Welcome to that day. Spira's unique wave spring technology provides up to 96% energy return. The result? Superior comfort, faster recovery, and significant fatigue reduction. Whether you're walking, running, or just on your feet all day, Spira. Science and footwear are now one. My name is Dan Norton. I work for um, Spyro Footwear. I head up the uh, product development and advanced development departments. My background is working with Nike, Asics, and Adidas. I designed the shoes for the 1980 and 84 Olympic Games. I came across uh, a new company called Spyro Footwear. I started working them with them as a consultant, moved to El Paso, and came on full time with Spyro Footwear, where I head up the product development departments and the advanced development departments. Today I'm here to talk about uh, the Wayspring technology, a proprietary technology developed and designed by Spyro Footwear. The Wayspring is actually a metal alloy spring called the Wayspring. It's a crest-to-crest -crest design. It's a spring that is extremely durable, it's tunable, it's adaptable, very stable, and extremely active. It's very unique. It's really the first new cushioning technology to be introduced to the market in over 20 years, especially since Nike introduced the uh, air cushioning system. There are four key benefits to the, to the wave spring. Uh, the first that's very unique is the fact that there's no significant breakdown of the cushioning properties over time. Second, it has a high amount of energy return. Third, it lowers impact forces. And fourth, the, the waste spring technology is extremely tunable uh, and engineerable into a lot of different designs and configurations for different types of athletic, athletic footwear applications. We can make very large springs to very small springs and any size in between. The spring itself uh, is extremely durable because it is a me metal alloy, it doesn't break down. So its cushioning properties will work uh, as well 500 miles into the use of the shoe as it does day one. Typical method of cushioning is called compression. Basically how that works is when your heel or your foot strikes the ground, the EVA or the foam material underneath the foot continues to compress and compress from the weight and the impact forces until it bottoms out. What the wave spring does is uses a system called deflection. The springs are designed so they really never ever bottom out. So you never get to a bottoming, bottoming out feeling, which gives you a very unique feel. Uh, it's a type of feel that's very unique the first time you put on the shoes. This is very noticeable. Uh, we have a lot of people that the first thing they say is, wow, uh, this is something that I've never felt in a shoe before. The springs are tested for up to a million cycles, which is probably equivalent to somewhere, uh, let's say, of over a thousand miles of running or walking. Over a thousand miles, you probably have a breakdown of less than 3%. A typical foam cushioning system midsole used in athletic footwear today loses about 30 percent of its cushioning properties in the first 200 miles of use. It's very significant when you're talking a uh, very high percentage compression system versus very low with the deflection system. Another key benefit that's very important is, is the re is ability for the spring to reduce peak impact forces by about 20 percent. 20 percent is a very significant amount of force you can imagine whether you're a housewife or somebody playing in a basketball game or somebody running a workout in the morning, even a housewife will walk up to five, six miles a day. A basketball game typically in a pros is five to six miles of running. When you're reducing the peak forces by up to 20%, there's a significant reduction on the stresses that it puts on the ligaments and the joints and the tendons in the body. The way spring in its raw form actually will return 96% of the energy that you put into it. And to use the shoes more and more, the EVA around the shoe breaks down, the spring actually is doing more of the work. So over time, the shoes actually cushion better. There's a tendency for our shoes, depending on the application, after 100 miles of running, for example, the shoes will actually cushion better than they did day one. The wave spring, because of its design, it's called a crest-to-crest -crest design. What it is is a series of waves that sit on top of each other. It's one single spring, but the reality is each crest 
creates a spring within a spring. For this spring, for example, has 21 springs built into this spring. And as a result, you get a lot of cushioning properties built into a very low profile spring. A typical coil spring would have to be three times as tall as this spring to get the same amount of cushioning. The other advantage of the crest to crest is because the crests sit on top of each other, the shoe is very stable medial to lateral. Currently, we have three basic spring configurations we use for the different uh, athletic shoes. First is what we call a tri-spring app creation. It has a single large spring in the heel and two small springs in the forefoot. Promote good flexibility and provide a nice even distribution of pressure under the first metatarsal. A second configuration that we use uh, in running specifically is the heel only spring. Uh, these are for running types who are heavy heel strikers who need a lot of heel cushioning, but at the same time, they want a lot of forefoot flexibility. A third spring configuration that we use is a dual spring configuration where we have one large spring in the heel and a large spring in the forefoot. The advantage of the larger springs, it's easier for us to design the springs so they're actually much softer. The way spring technology used in Spyro footwear is very unique. It's not something that takes you very long to figure out. Put a pair on and walk around in the store and you'll see a noticeable difference immediately. It's a very unique system that's different than anything else on the marketplace. The more you wear it, the longer you wear it, the more you'll notice the benefits of the shoes.